All right, Zone 3 Podcast, we are with Abe today, with United Imaging. If, if you would, Abe, just kind of get into it. What are you most excited about this year at AHRA? All right, thanks, Robert. So uh, this is our UMR Omega. It's a 75 centimeter bore. Uh, we designed this to accommodate more patients. So a lot of patients are claustrophobic, have high anxiety when they're going into the magnet. Yeah. Um, also broad patients, bariatrics. Those are all patients that have a difficult time getting into the scanner. Yeah. Right. Which is maybe the biggest hurdle, <laughs> getting them in first and then having them be able to comfortably sit throughout that study. And so with more space, they can they can do that more easily. Well, I can tell you have the patient in mind when, when you have this set up. I mean, it's not just the size of the board, but the, the weight of the coils themselves. It's all very, I don't know, patient in mind, like very patient friendly. As far as patients who are claustrophobic and yeah. otherwise they would tap out in a scenario like that. I've seen it happen Definitely. too many times to count. Definitely. Um, and so you guys have a 1.5 wide bore. We have a 1.5 wide bore inside the magnet as well as a lighting system. Mm -hmm. So patient lighting experience, it's almost like a starry night. Oh yeah. So laser lights with two different colors that change over time. And so if you were, I don't know, go up and sit and look at a white wall, you become disoriented. Can make mm -hmm. you feel dizzy. Absolutely. Right? That could happen inside the magnet just by having the speckle light, starry light pattern in there changing yeah. over time. It improves the feeling of orientation. So this one we're looking at today, is this a 3T? This is a 3 Tesla five? magnet. Okay. And then what's your lineup? I mean, what do you have? Um... So we have a full range 1.5, 3T. Um, we have a, sort of a neuroscience oriented machine mm -hmm. with a 90 millitesla per meter gradient set. This has a 45 by 200. So 45 millitesla per meter by yeah. 200 tesla per meter per second. Um, that's the same for our 1.5s as well. We've tried to standardize in a lot of different ways. Gradient performance is the same for both our 1.5 and 3T okay. for those two magnets that are the kind of the bread and butter systems. Pet MR scanner that uh, shares all of the same technology we have on our other pet devices. So highest pet resolution, okay. spatial resolution on the market, um, digital detectors, um, time of flight, and those detectors and are integrated in the coil itself? Integrated. Or the, the magnet itself? It, I mean? Yeah, definitely. So integrated in the magnet between the body coil and between the gradient coil. Okay. So the, the detector takes up about a five centimeter ring. Making your 70 into like a 60? 60. 60. Okay, exactly. gotcha. Okay, very yep. cool. Well, I think you've got kind of a little showroom here if you don't want to just walk me around and sure. give you an idea of what it is you're showing the folks. The light, light changes over time, two different colors that kind of cycle through. And just provide something for the patient. Oh, and to you've look got that over time. You want to look up and in. Oh, look at that. you got that little Rolls Royce with the. <laughs> so we, we did a site visit at our first clinical site the other day, and a patient um, went in very anxious. Yeah. She had been told some horror stories about what an MRI can be like. Yeah. She had a high anxiety level. She was going in for a neuro study. She came out and she said, "I can't tell you how comfortable I felt." Yeah, that's good. I mean, good. completely unprompted. I couldn't tell you how comfortable I felt. She said, I fell asleep <laughs> right away, which you know, obviously is a good That's the a best indicator, right? <laughs> so yeah, more space is, is definitely much more friendly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. see it all every day, all day, every single day. Right. And it's not something we hear often as far as it was comfortable. Sure, I know, <laughs> Yeah. that's true. So awesome. You all know, right. I haven't talked yet about the homogeneity on this magnet. Let's talk so about it. The homogeneity on, on all of our machines is a, a high standard for us. We want to make sure that the, the homogeneity is best in class. And not just to say that, but really want to provide the best usable imaging field of view and quality. 
um, that's possible. So and yeah. you guys do parallel imaging, uh, compressed sense. Um, we do. Okay, we so do. you do 3D imaging. And yes, we we've on all of our machines we have a compressed sensing platform that can be used as flexibly as parallel imaging. Okay. So it supports 2D, 3D, and 4D imaging. Awesome. So with what we're finding in practice is that you can do 3D with about the same scan times as you would do for 2D. And with 4D, we can get better temporal resolution for dynamic studies. Very cool. And obviously, yeah. you can reformat it in different planes and whatnot. Definitely. Slice thicknesses yes. and stuff. That's really helping out for PET-MR. Um, so we can do more isotropic, which is great because then when you marry that with PET, mm -hmm. you have sort of you have isotropic PET and isotropic MR at the same time and, and yeah. do those studies even faster. Yeah, very cool. Um, and then I would like to showcase these coils that you have because that was kind of for sure caught my eye. Anytime you see the gray, the gray is soft, okay? Mm -hmm. Like the flexible coil you picked up before. So these soft combination, soft shell, hard shell coils are fantastic because they're comfortable and they can be used on any size patient. And so, so if so you've got can, somebody with huge broad shoulders like me, so he, right? Definitely. So we can put those <laughs> on your big broad shoulders and these are super comfortable. You yeah. can get down into the, if you had a tear in the pec, you can see that with a nice coverage there. And we could put the largest of bodies in there and it'll flex. And you know, there's different vendors, there's different coil designs, but um, you know, the lighter you can go, the better. And, I, and I'm finding with shoulder coils, this seems to be a pretty uh, user-friendly one, not just for the technologists, but also for the patients. Yeah. Uh, and obviously this is your knee coil. Yeah, those can cut into the shoulders quite a bit. Absolutely. The hard shells can yeah. be quite uncomfortable. And then you start getting motion because and they get fidgety. It's already uncomfortable, yeah. This, you can almost forget it's there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and how many channels is this one? This is a 12 channel. Okay. And then this is obviously your knee. How many channels is that? 12 channel knee. Okay. Um, then, here's another one. I, I need to feel the... I have to, because, well, first of all, with technologists, I mean, they, one of a common problem with techs in the field for extended period of times is you get back issues, uh, right. moving patients, sure. but also moving coils. And so right. if you can lower the weight of it, that helps. Um, and so obviously this is your foot and ankle down here. Yep. So... This is our foot and ankle. This one here, again, gray is soft, white is hard. So we can immobilize the foot with the with the sort of the L frame here, but you can accommodate the largest of ankles, one a bandaged, size fits all. A bandaged yeah. foot, diabetic patients, all very comfortable. Absolutely. So you just this pull that over channel. and then yep. Yeah. Very cool. And now so you got that, and then we've got a flex coil down here. These are so light, I can't believe it. <laughs> So flexible body coils, each of our scanners comes with a head and neck array, the spine array, shoulder, knee, and two body coils, and then two small flex coils for doing, say, shoulder, for elbows. And yeah, and obviously you can joints. couple this with, a, with a, a body coil. And we could put four of those, you know, arranged over the entire body, so we could do whole body studies. Very cool. Cover up to two meters. Yeah. Yep. And then while we're here, we also want to discuss, because you guys are excited about what you're doing in the, in the modality of CT as well. Sure. So let's discuss that. All right. So Robert, that was the, the UMR Omega. Okay. We call that our first bariatric class MRI because it's, it has the larger bore. It has the larger field of view, 75 centimeters bore, 60 by 60 X and Y direction field of view. Mm -hmm. And it has a table capacity of 680 pounds. Oh, wow. So it's the highest capacity in the market for a table capacity. Absolutely, yeah. So it really creates the first bariatric class MRI. And I'm curious because it's wider, yes. uh, the bore itself, is it less susceptible to RF burns? Um, uh, you definitely have much more space to work with there. Yeah. I mean, we don't have, I mean, you can still follow the normal guidelines with, with a pad, mm -hmm. um, but you have much more space. More wiggle room. I mean, typically you're going into a smaller bore, you're putting your arms in so you don't touch the bore as you're mm -hmm. moving in. Here, you move in and just your arms flop out at their sides. You've yeah. just got that much more space to work with. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Um, all right, so with CT. So speaking of bariatric class scanners, yeah. this, CTs have long had sort of a bariatric class yeah, uh, CT. Higher table capacity, 700 pounds, 82 centimeter bore that flares out to 100 centimeters in the back. This is the UCT Atlas. And it's a 640 slice scanner. Oh, wow. Uh, 640 slice. Last I heard, <laughs> you guys are up to like 128 or something. So that's how <laughs> out of touch I am. Uh, yeah, I haven't done CT. Actually, I never technically did CT, but I was kind of in that world for a bit. Um, so 
I'm imagining getting a great response from technologists and patients in regards to this technology as well. So we're pretty excited about it because one, it, it has whole organ coverage, so 16 centimeters, so you can do a single rotation head, single rotation heart, single beat heart, uh, cardiac scan. Um, oh, wow. Whole organ coverage, say a liver. Um, so you're getting you know, very full organ coverage, plus the table moves very quickly, so you can do fast spiral scans covering, say, a chest, abdomen, pelvis in about a second. Okay. This is another machine that I think um, exemplifies our mission, mm -hmm. equal health care for all. So we talked about accommodating as many patients as possible with our MRI mach machines. The same goes with this scanner here, the Atlas as well. So with the high rotation speed, it has cycles four times per second, 0.25 second rotation time. Yeah, wow. We can freeze motion, so we can care for, of, say, trauma, ED patients with that as well. Uh, plus with a higher table capacity, higher, you know, be able to accommodate as many patients as possible. Well, I think that's the key word today. And that's the one that my biggest takeaway is you guys are accommodating yep. to patients and uh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, it shows where you put your first thought to like patient care. And uh, at the end of the day, that translates to you know, diagnostic um, results that could help in their treatment. So yeah. very cool. Thank you. Know, you. Another, another thing, Robert, we didn't talk about. So um, in, ter in terms of the equal health care for all, mm -hmm. We think a lot about what that means in terms of applications, uh, the software that drives the machine or can be used on the machine. And so we provide what we call all-in configurations. And so for the users, that means we give all software. We provide all software with every machine. Wow. So no software options, no discussion about whether or not you want to advance Upgrade cardiac on the machine or, yeah, yeah. or not. It will always be there. It's all encompassing. Available Very for cool. you to use. Well, we love what you're doing, United Imaging. Thank yes. you for giving us your time. Thank you, Abe. Appreciate right. you. Thanks, and uh, thank you for watching. Zone 3 Podcast, we're out.